Hi, welcome. This is Matthew. Um, this channel used to be called Sound Practice Language Learning, and now um, we have an announcement. Um, it's now Next Step ELT. So, um, from now on, the videos are going to be for helping English language teachers uh, develop uh, more. All right. So, most of you are probably on my YouTube channel because you found my CELTA observation videos. Yes, I'm a CELTA trainer. I'm also a, uh, I'm finishing up my training as a Delta Module 2 trainer. Um, I've also done CELT P and CELT S. I've also worked as a moderator for those courses. And, um, yeah. And I started a company, it's called Next Step ELT. Um, and it is a registered and validated uh, Trinity Center, um, which means uh, we will be offering uh, different Trinity courses in the future. Currently, we're offering the Trinity Cert PT. Okay, uh, so uh, on the Trinity website, um, you can go up here to uh, trinitycollege.com. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, you can look at their different TESOL qualifications. Now, most of you who are on this channel probably know about CELTA, and there's a lot of misinformation about CELTA and TESOL. What is it? CELTA is a kind of TESOL. Teaching English to speakers of other languages, right? Uh, right here. So if you get a CELTA certificate, it actually says that on it. Uh, it's a certificate in English language teaching uh, speakers of other languages. So TESOL is on CELTA. It's just CELTA is so darn good because uh, it has teaching practice. The, the trainers have to uh, go through a certain training process and be validated and they have uh, external moderators or assessors who ensure that the course is being run according to standards. Guess what? Trinity also does this. Um, in fact, uh, the, uh, the British Council recognizes Trinity and Cambridge teaching qualifications. So, uh, so Trinity has the uh, 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 Trinity uh, Search TESOL has the, this is uh, the same, it's the equivalent of CELTA, six hours of teaching practice. Um, it's 130 hours long, not 120 like CELTA. Um, TILEC, this is for teaching young learners. There is teaching practice on it. We uh, plan to uh, be validated to run those courses in the future. Uh, there's also this DIP TESOL. This is the equivalent of DELTA the Cambridge Delta. So, for example, if you wanted to become a CELTA trainer, then you would need a level 7 qualification with substantial teaching practice, like the Cambridge Delta or the Trinity Dip TESOL. So, I have the Trinity Dip TESOL. Now, between uh, something like CELTA and the uh, CELTA or Trinity Cert TESOL and uh, Cambridge Delta or Trinity Dip TESOL, there's a new qualification. It's just a few years old. It's called the Trinity Certificate for Practicing Teachers, the CERT PT. Right? Let's have a look at it. Alright, so the CERT PT, um, this is for professional teachers, uh, uh, practicing teachers basically. So teachers who are currently teachers, not people who are new to teaching, right? So SALTA, Trinity Cert TESOL, these are for people who have not had formal training. The Cert PT is for people who have already had formal training and they have teaching experience after that initial qualification. So if you come down here, you can see that, um, that there are uh, there's a comparison for the different qualifications, basically. So, CERT TESOL, like uh, I, uh, CELTA, is level 5, right? Uh, CELTA has 200 total uh, qualification time, so CELTA is 120 hours, uh, plus about 80 hours 
self-study and assignment work preparation to finish it, right? Um, uh, Tylek, this is uh, specialized, so you take level 5 like CELTA or cert TESOL, then you can specialize uh, more with young learner teaching. It would be about a level 6, but uh, there are a few reasons why it's not on the scale. Um, this is just a framework so that uh, uh, in Europe they can compare um, qualifications and degrees, basically. Um, Dip TESOL, level 7, right? This is like a master's level, a graduate level. So uh, it's about uh, how many hours of input you'd need, uh, or guided learning hours, and total it'd be 600 hours. So the CERT PT, level 6, it is like a nice uh, middle ground for, um, for uh, teachers. So basically if you take Cambridge CELTA or Trinity uh, CERT TESOL, it, it helps you, it, like you know what to do in the classroom. Um, but the, but if you go and do Delta or Dip TESOL, it's much more academic. You need a lot of background reading. You need to write essays. You need to justify what you're doing in class and why you're doing it. Uh, you need to really anticipate difficulties. You need to do background, uh, uh, research. Uh, if you teach a grammar point, then what could go wrong? You have to do, uh, like what could your learners have problems with? You have to go and research all that. You have to justify things. Um, so anything you do in the classroom, basically there's like anything goes. You could, uh, on CELTA or CERT TESOL, they say, the tutor says, do this, do it like this. Delta, dip TESOL. They say, um, they don't want to say don't do this, but you need to have a good reason for what you do and you need to justify it with your own experience and with background reading basically. So um, a lot of teachers who do level 7 like Dip Tiesel or Delta, they find that they're not up to doing the academic kind of writing or the, the reflection that's needed at that level. So the CERT PT is really good for that. Um, it's like you can use it as a stepping stone. The CERT T is also pretty cool because it's uh, flexible, as in it's made for teachers in one context. It can be made like that. So for example, our center could make a Trinity CERT PT, especially for teachers who are teaching, let's say, uh, IELTS in uh, Venezuela or they're teaching uh, primary school students in Vietnam, right? Okay, so it's at that level six, right? Which means it's pretty academic. There's, a, there's uh, four assignments to do. Those four assignments would be related to your context, but you have to make connections to, uh, uh, to uh, the wider body of knowledge in TESOL, basically. Uh, to demonstrate that you uh, know what you're doing, why you're doing what you're doing um, for your assignments. Okay, so what do we offer? We offer a, here's our website, by the way, um, at nextstepelt.com. Um, you can just click Trinity Cert PT, it goes right down, and we are offering a course uh, starting September 4th, right? Um, so it's 10 weeks long, 3 hours each week for 10 weeks, so 30 hours. There's also an additional 70 hours you need to do your assignments. So the whole qualification um, is 100 hours, right? Uh, just like uh, from this chart here. Now what's also cool is this is like, this is a this is a really interesting uh, qualification because you can also do the assessment in different languages. Um, uh, where is it? Right here, bilingual options, right? Uh, so currently you can do the course, um, you can do the assessments, the four uh, written assessments, you can do them in English, Spanish, or Mandarin Chinese at the moment. Um, more languages will be available in the future. We currently don't offer uh, Mandarin Chinese or Spanish, but 
it'd be very simple to uh, add that. Um, our particular qualification uh, is a little different, but a center could make uh, Trinity Search PT so that uh, it's even for lower level speaking teachers. So most of the teachers in the world don't have a C1 level of English. So that's why the assessment can be in another language. So those teachers can demonstrate their pedagogical understanding. Um, but our course that we're offering, um, we want this to be a stepping stone to doing a level seven like Delta or Trinity Dip Tiesel. So a C1 level of English will be needed for this course. Um, we will be offering uh, Trinity Search PT for uh, teaching young learners, and we're also going to come out with a teacher training version. But this uh, communicative methods course, uh, there's a special discount, 20% off, um, for people taking this course, because afterwards we're going to go up to uh, 1,200 US dollars. But yeah, you can even come down here and see who our, um, uh, who our trainers are, right? Who our current trainers, right? I won't be on this course. I'll be on the courses uh, in the future, though, <laughs> right? Maybe in a year. I'll just uh, step back and try to run the business. Um, we'll also be coming out with blogs and, um, right, and uh, free webinars, of course. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching until the end, and please let your friends know about this channel, and uh, let us uh, know if you want to know more about Trinity Cert PT. Um, if you want to contact us, just come down here to contact us, and uh, uh, fill in this information, and uh, I will write back to you. Alright, thanks.